Well, we've been bringing old clothes that we don't wear anymore or that they don't fit us anymore. So we've been revamping them with embroidery or beads or just generally remaking them. We've just trying to develop them so we can take them home and use them again. I'm making my top into a pillow that I can use. I've turned a pair of jeggings into a bag and I'm going to turn my shirt and my skirt into a dress. Well, some of the textiles go to charities or organisations which employ people in the local area to remake the clothes and repair them so people abroad can wear them again. They're sent to places such as Africa or Eastern Europe or Asia where um, people don't actually have the benefits to have stuff like that. Um, in my house we, we recycle curtains that are a bit dirty now. Making um, dresses and stuff. Yeah, and we make stuff out of it or we just throw it into the recycling bin. Um, there's a certain type of recycling bin which um, recycles clothes so you can upcycle them and reuse them as something which is effective. Um, we've become more aware of how um, upcycling helps the world, like 90% of the clothes which get um, recycled get taken to another country to be made into better clothes and then 10% of the, of the other clothes they get turned into rags so all of it gets reused. It's based on a trade project and it's something that trade are obviously pushing students to do across the country. Um, and so when this project to do um, the Rags to Riches com competition came up, we thought perfect. We loved it. And um, we thought fantastic, this ties really in with what we're doing with our year eights. And um, brilliant. And they love it because it's a fashion based project. Um, they get to do some fashion designing and they get to have something they can actually reuse, which is brilliant. We've made a really good start this year and we're really looking forward to being part of it next year um, and getting our students more involved and getting the students to take responsibility for organising things rather than staff.